Uh, this is illustration.org. I'm Santosh, and uh, here we are with David Peterson uh, at his booth. Uh, David, tell us a little bit about your uh, your uh, project uh, that's upcoming. Uh, the next project uh, for for me is going to be Mouse Guard: The Black Axe, and it's the third issue, the third series, in, or the third uh, volume in the series. Uh, it's about a character named Kellanaw, who we've seen in both fall and winter, kind of a an obscure hero from the past that comes back. And um, he, he promises to tell a story in winter about the day his, his paw first touched this mythical weapon called the Black Axe. And uh, this is my promise to the fans, fulfilling that, uh, uh, giving them that story. So how did you start uh, in comics? What's your story? Um, I was uh, a guy who loved comics and, and uh, ended up going to arts or going to university uh, for fine art, but thinking I probably wouldn't be allowed to draw comics because I didn't draw like Jim Lee or you know Adam Hughes or any of the guys who do you know what you think of as like typical comics. And uh, but I still loved them and, and thought I'd probably go more towards like children's book illustration. Uh, just happened to go to a, uh, a local convention set up to maybe try to get some commission work or something. Uh, had the concept for Mouse Guard out there and people started asking when is it going to be a book? So I said, all right, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have a book for next show. And that was a every six months show. So I had six months to do a comic for the first time ever. Um, Self-published it, went fairly well, brought some copies here to San Diego uh, back in 2005. Uh, showed it around and picked up a publisher. So uh, after that, it was just, uh, you know, you, you learn to crawl and then you learn to run. So I, I just uh, hit the ground running and tried to do the best job I could. Awesome. Do you have any advice for uh, fledging artists, uh, comic artists or illustrators? Um, yeah, I mean, get comfortable with what you do. Don't try to do it as somebody else does. Uh, it took a while for me to come up with a, the right style for Mouse Guard, and it really came down to, e I think, equal parts something that I liked and something that I knew I could continuously do. It was comfortable. I didn't have to reference somebody else's work. You know, I don't, I don't care if you're a fan of N.C. Wyeth or uh, uh, you know Mike Mignola or whoever. Uh, Ridley Scott films. If you have to be watching or looking at their work in order for you to produce your work, it's not going to work. You're not going to be able to make that function. Uh, you have to be comfortable with what you do. It's okay to get inspired by other people, but turn that thing off, put the book away, and draw or work or write the way you naturally do it. You feel comfortable. Awesome. And go ahead and start knowing it's not perfect. It's never going to be perfect. If you keep waiting and going, oh, I'm not ready yet, I'm not ready yet, I'm not ready yet. There's, there's some validity in, in knowing you're not ready. As long as you know it's never going to be perfect. You're never going to be completely happy. So just start. Because otherwise, you don't know what it's like to get to the end of 24 pages. And it changes you. And that's where you actually grow. You can sketch and sketch and sketch and you'll, you'll develop, but you're really going to develop at page 24 of your book. So where can we see more of uh, uh, David Peterson's work? How, uh, how do we see more of it? You can go to mouseguard.net or davidpeterson.net. There are links to my blog. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at mouseguard. Um, I try to tweet images of what I'm working on, my thoughts about process, um, and sometimes just silly stuff. Any last closing comments? Uh, get to work. <laughs>